Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is another raid Shadow Legends video. We have got an account takeover for TKO 5000. He is a self-proclaimed whale. Um, he's only 50, uh, he's only level 53. We are on login day 67. And take a look at the roster. Uh, he just messaged me the other day and said, "Oh, by the way, I just pulled." And there's, I don't know, it must have been like six new legendaries. So. We have got a crazy account here, um, crazy account in the making I'd say, not a crazy account today. You can have as many legendaries as you like, but first you've got to get them leveled, you need to get them ascended, they need to be in a good place to, to actually be used. Um, but if we look through these guys, we've got Xavier, we've got Ignatius, we've got Biggin, we have got ourselves a Norog, a Ray, a Kaimar, um, the list goes on, Chris. Um, who else should I call out here? Mountain King apparently came in yesterday. We've got a Tormund. Um, another Ray. <laughs> it's, a, it's a full on whale fest. Um, basically, we are looking today to. Um, oh, what else have we got in here? We've got another Ignatius. We've got um, a self Mr. Meme. Okay, it's not as crazy in here. Um, yeah, so today we are looking to set up a nightmare. Um, clan boss team and we're looking to help with the arena setup now it's all well and good to have in a million legendaries and and being uh, and totally wailing out that's that works it gets you a ton of champions early and kind of basically sets you up for the game at this point uh, TKO could not spend any money in this game and eventually have did I say all 10 I don't know if I said all 10 but it's got all 10 sitting here as well um, you can eventually have basically best teams for everything but what i'm not seeing is that same level when it comes to gear so getting gear is is timely you can buy gear sets i think probably this maybe some of it is bought but it's you've still got to then find the right gear to roll up this piece was a waste of silver um if I look down at, so obviously I need some life steal gear to get him going for clan boss. So I was having a quick flip through. So not usable, not usable, not usable. That's okay. That's okay. But then we're already down to four star gear. So when I'm trying to gear up for nightmare, ideally I've got five or six star gear. Um, none of those are usable for clan boss, not usable for clan boss. This one is okay. But this one's not usable, it's just going to go in the bin. Um, so we've got a lot of stuff that we've invested silver in so far. It's literally just going straight in the bin. Flat stats like this will go straight in the bin. They'll, they'll um, you know, push up the silver coffers, yes. Straight in the bin, look at this. Straight in the bin. There may even be an argument to say, well, why don't you keep it if you've got um, free rolls in speed? i tell you why, it's not good enough. It's not good enough if we want to be fighting Nightmare Clan Boss. Straight in the bin, straight in the bin, straight in the bin. So all of these items, it looks like, oh wow, he's got loads of gear as well to play with. We have got no gear to play with here. No speed, there's not a single speed set there that I can work with, um, which means it becomes very difficult to gear champions for, um, wow, not even another set there. Yeah, really difficult to, to gear champions to be fast enough to deal with clan boss so i've got my work cut out here lots of crazy champs that's that's the easy part the work is finding gear that can actually do the job um so what i'm going to do is a massive gear cleanse how many pieces do we have there nearly 700 pieces i'd be surprised if i've still got 500 pieces at the end of that i then need to decide who we're going to use um and it's also i, I think i need to decide who we're going to use today but also who should we use long term because there's a, there's a lot of champions here that are not yet ready to go. Ultan for example, best lead for clan boss in the game. Best lead in the game. Can I use him when he's not ascended though? That's a challenge. Um, and do we, I don't know if I've got ascension pots, I should check actually. Uh, okay, we do have some, so I can ascend Ultan. I can probably upgrade his level. Yeah, I can get him to a good place, but I can't do that with all of them. I have to pick two or three that I'm going to invest in. In fact, probably one or two that I'm going to invest in. Uh, and the rest is going to be kind of theory craft. 
Um, so once we've got clan boss done, we're going to look at arena. Same sort of thing. Um, I don't know if I've got enough gear to, to actually properly gear two or three teams here. So it's going to be a case of uh, I've got silver. Guys, I'm not saying I don't have silver. I'm not saying I don't have champs. This is a gear issue. Uh, but we'll see how we get on. And uh, yeah, keep you posted. So here we go. It's one of the biggest gear cleansers I've done. Two, eight, four pieces going straight in the bin. And the reason for most of them is that they are flat stat pieces. Um, just so many flat stat pieces like this um, right across the account. And yeah, basically, and this video is obviously going to go to TKO first. It's just a big call out. Don't waste your silver on, on flat stats. Um, and you're almost better farming campaign to get yourself lifesteal gear that is going to help you early on. So right now we're going to have basically there's zero speed boots. There's maybe I think there's two chests that are defense chests. There's no five star gloves that are defense gloves in lifesteal. So it makes it very difficult to build the team now. Ideally at this sort of level where you're just starting off in nightmare, most of your team, unless you've got yourself a bad L or a really strong healer, most of your team will need to be in lifesteal gear. It's almost impossible for me to do that. Um, so what you'd actually be better off doing is get yourself into campaign, fight the bosses where you need the gear. So, you know, I'd advise just get yourself into campaign level six against the, uh, I think it's stage eight for lifesteal gear. And just get yourself two or three sets of speed boots. Yeah, and that's where you need to start. Two or three sets of speed boots, a couple of chests which roll um, defense percentage, five star. Then you're in a good position to just go and farm your high out in the dragon. Because you're just getting too much random gear which spreads itself across loads of different sets. And that is difficult then to do this. Anyway, that's, that's the sale. Bargain basement sale, um, boot fairs all round. Let's get into team building. So ideally he's looking for um, an auto team, which kind of rules out Xavier. Xavier is not an auto champion or not very auto friendly because she's got an ability that blows up all the poisons you're throwing on. So Xavier is probably going to come out of the mix. We want a skull crusher in. We want, um, and actually this build is pretty good by the way. Uh, very good actually. So we've got some good stuff going on on this build. 171 spot on, 4k defense spot on, uh, low accuracy. Yeah, this build is really nice. So good job, TPO. You've done a really good build there. Um, <clears throat> so we've got counter. We need our decrease attack. I'm going to raise my best buddy, Altan, for that job. So I'm going to raise him and gear him up. We then want ourselves basically some sort of decrease defense and weaken, uh, or as, as close to that as we can get. Just looking through the champions here. Who have we got that does that job well for us? So we don't have a Razin. I mean, actually, somebody like Rearguard Sergeant does it really well. I uh, don't know if we've got one leveled, though. Can't see one. Can't see one, but I could be just being blind. We've actually got a couple of healer champs in here, which could be useful in this sort of setup if we don't have enough uh, life still gear. Yeah, so it looks like we don't have one there. Let me just check the vault in case we've got something we're sitting on. When these are going to be under leveled anyway for Nightmare, so that's not going to work for us. We do have Krisk. Uh, Krisk brings decrease defense. I'm not 100% certain. I'm going to have to just try a run with him. Uh, what does he bring? Where does he bring it? Uh, it's passive, is it? Yeah, okay. So at the start of each round, places a shield buff on all allies and has a 75% chance of placing a decreased defense buff and 50% 50% uh, attack buff on the attacker when hit. Now, I think I'm just going to do a dummy run. I'm not 100% sure if this works when, if it works just one time and then it's gone or if it works consistently. If it works consistently, then this is our decreased defense champ. Because he also brings a shed ton of support. Ally protection, continuous heal, um, increased defense on this champion. Um, speed buff on all allies. That's tricky for speed tuning, but I think we could try and make him work somehow. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna, actually going to do a test run with him and see if that works as I think it should. 
So we'd then have Prisk, we'd have Ultan, we'd have our um, Skull Crusher, which leaves two spots. We need Poison, so we're going to have to bring in probably a Steel Skull, maybe a Cult Brawler. Uh, but I quite like the idea as well of throwing a Norrod in the mix. So yeah, we've got a few things to play around with, um, and then we can get ourselves into gearing up these champs. Okay, just on a quick test, and Prisk does work. Prisk works. Every time he gets hit, his passive goes off. So every time he gets hit, this passive skill here makes decreased defense go on just for one turn and decreased attack go on. That is useful. So I, d I don't want him to be my decreased attack. It's too vulnerable, the fact that it's only one turn. Uh, unless you put him as your lead, you're going to put yourself in trouble. Uh, or I suppose you could do masteries to fit it, but I, I wouldn't be confident with that. So, But I do want him for my decreased defense. And he also brings a real cool set of utility here with some of his ally protection and stuff. So he's going in, Ultan's going in, um, we've got Skull Crushers going in, that's free. We need a Poisoner, it's probably going to be Steel Skull. Uh, it might need to be Steel Skull and OB if there's not enough poison just with Steel Skull. Um, I mean, Xavier could do it, but I don't want a manual all the time. As I said earlier, we want it to be an auto thing. So she's probably not really relevant for this account. Uh, we could actually have, a few people told me after my video that Black Knight is who I should have put in for my one of my healers for a legendary. I completely overlooked him. I didn't realize that he was kind of suitable for um, a healer champ. So what have we got here? What's bringing that on? So continuous heal. Places a continuous heal and increased defense buff on all allies for two turns. Pretty cool, actually. It's basically half the healing power that a bad L has, and obviously bad L bad L can keep a team up easily. So I'm wondering if him with Skull Crusher with Skull Crusher's ally protection and Chris in the same team, and Chris brings again ally protection and heal. So he brings two continuous heal buffs just on this champion. So we've got, uh, let me just see what this improves to. Buff on all allies, places two on, and increases the buff of all allies. So, so I think actually we could go Black Knights, Skull Crusher, Chris, Altan, and then I've got one space for a Poisoner, which probably would need to be a Cult Brawler, because I don't think Steel Skull is going to bring me enough Poison. But I think we could do a Cult Brawler to just slam in the Poisons for me, and we've got ourselves a team. So I'm going to start gearing these up. Let's just show you what we've got so far in terms of setups. This is, it's just not going to work anyway, but it's, it's pretty mediocre. Feels like we're probably going to find, uh, actually that piece is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I, thought, I just figured one of these pieces has got to be wrong somehow to, to not be seeing more stats, given that we've got all six-star gear and it's all uh, maxed out. So, so that piece there is okay, but not ideal for Clan Boss. But these boots here are, let's just say, woeful. They're going to be sold, um, so we can't use them again. And yeah, so we're going to play around with him. But yeah, basically what we want here is faster. Um, I don't think he needs accuracy. I don't think he's got anything that I'm too fussed about him landing on the clan boss. No. Nope. So that's okay. And yeah, it feels like the rest of it's fine. So he's going in. We're going to be re -gear. I'm probably going to leave Skull Crusher basically the same as he is, unless I need to move gear around on other people. But he is in good shape. This is a really nice build. I like it. We've got enough defense. We've got good speed. We've got good HP. So all in all, this is a very solid build. I like it. Um, if I did tweak, it would be things like this. So he's got an accuracy on his shield, which other people might need. He doesn't need it. So what I would possibly do, and, and same here. So it might be that I take these two pieces off him, try and find replacements which don't have the accuracy in, but still give him my same speed level. And then he is uh, good to go. So good build there, well done. Um, TKO. We're then going to have a look at a Cult Brawler. So the fact that I've got two healers now, potentially in this team, to keep these guys up, I would love to put a Cult Brawler, because of his low base defense, in Stalwart gear. If I can get a set of Stalwart on him, this build at the moment, 
is okay. It's okay. It's not terrible. It's not amazing. Um, but yeah, if I could get a set of stalwart gear on him, it will keep him alive much longer into the game. So I'm going to see what we've got here. There are quite a lot of pieces. Um, and I think I've got a few that I can play with. So that could be a good option for, for a cult brawler. We'll then look at Chris. Can I get him um, leveled up in terms of ascension? I really need that. If I can, then he's going to be in the team. He's probably going to switch out of this sort of gear and go into... I think he's probably going to go into lifesteal gear because he's going to have ally protection on and I need him to stay alive. And then Altan, again, we're going to level him and get him into probably probably not lifesteal gear, probably some other form of gear to get his stats up. So I think we're going to end up with two in lifesteal gear, the two with ally protection, one in stalwart gear, and then everyone else in just kind of steady quality gear, or the best I can find. Let's get into this. This is going to be a, a fun challenge. There's some new champs for me to play around with, which I've not used before. So all in all, I'm looking forward to it. Right, here we go. So we have got a Skull Crusher with 172 speed, 4.2k defense, good HP, lowered his accuracy, and okay crit. So this Skull Crusher is bob on quality for Nightmare Clan Boss. Um, kept him in lifestyle gear. I moved out the two head and shield pieces because they weren't really adding the benefit I wanted. There was too much accuracy in there and I've used them elsewhere. I've just kind of brought these two pieces in to replace the speed and give me more defense. Uh, the masteries are well set, so you want to do this kind of build for masteries for Skull Crusher. You don't need the support tree. So you kind of come around here in this loop. Uh, basically what this is doing is reducing damage from the AOE. You've got more defense, reduced damage from the AOE hits. Uh, this one gives you a chance to drop the stun if you get hit by the stun. This one reduces damage over time in Clan Boss. And then you've got two here which give you a chance to counter attack. Um, and then on this tree, this probably is not necessarily needed, but it's, there's not many other places you can go. But you basically want to come straight down like this and then fill the gaps. So Skull Crush is done and good. He's my slowest, 172. I now need everyone to be faster than him, but between 173 so 173 to 189 is what I need after that. So let's look at my Occult Brawler. So Occult Brawler I've done in Stalwart gear. And um, 179, so he's quicker than the than the um, Skull Crusher, which is what we need. He's got 2.5k defense, which is decent in Stalwart gear. Not bad at all. Decent HP as well. Good crit rate, good crit damage, good accuracy to land those poisons. So he's looking in good shape. Um, we've then got an Altan. Altan in kind of mixed sets. Um, so Altan has got 173 speed, one more than Skull Crusher, 4.2k defense, which is good. 37k HP, which is good. I would have liked a bit more crit rate on him, but we've got good accuracy. So all in all, pretty good. Uh, masteries, I need to roll. Uh, let's do it now live. So we're going to do the same build on his uh, offense. So you basically come straight down here into Warmaster. And then on his defense, you can do one or two ways. If you've got, if you're pretty guaranteed you're going to be laying that decrease attack, then you go defense tree. If you're worried about decrease attack, then you go support tree and come down into Master Hexer. Uh, but I am very confident because we've got two champions in this build that can do it. So Chris can do it and Altan can do it. So I'm going to go with this same build as what we just saw on Skull Crusher. To give myself more damage. Um, and then we fill in the gaps here. And actually I'm going to do this one in case we use him in other um, content. So that's quite a nice one for him. Um, decent, okay. Chris. Chris at the moment is set up with masteries for uh, Arena. That's going to change. And we're going to set him up for Clan Boss. So same build again. Now what you can do on Chris, because he brings a lot of buffs, you quite it's quite nice to be on this side of the tree for buffs. So and he doesn't he does need a bit of accuracy. So I'm going to go accuracy into this one, and I'm going to go straight down here to take the buff tree. Um, you can also get lasting gifts, which is quite nice. 
So it resets, um, not last, sorry, Cycle of Magic, which is quite nice, which gives you a chance to regen one of his uh, bigger abilities quicker. So that's quite cool. I'm going to take the extra accuracy here and here. That's all good. And then I think we're probably going to take this one over here for other content. I mean, there's an argument to say as well, because he does his decreased defense and that, then you could come over into this tree and get Master Hexer. So that's, there's an argument to say you could have kind of split down this way as well. But that is a good build for Chris. In terms of his actual build, so we've got Life Steal Gear on him because he has got Allied Protection. Lots of defense, 4.5k defense, 42k HP, faster than my Skull Crusher. Good actually crit rate, crit damage for his build and 240 accuracy, uh, accuracy. So he is in solid, solid shape. He's got such a high base defense that he's so easy to build his defense up on. So he's looking good. Uh, and then we've got Black Knight. So Black Knight, I don't use an, a huge amount, but he looks pretty good. Now he's had his buff. 3.3k, near enough 3.4k defense. 57k HP. He's an HP based champion. He's fast, 189, but he's still within the speed tolerance we need. He actually might be a bit too fast because Chris does do some speed boosting, so I'm, I'm a little bit worried about that. Great crit rate, good crit damage, doesn't need accuracy. Uh, I could even just drop a couple of bits of speed gear off him and swap them over, thinking about it. He's a little bit too fast. Maybe I will. I will actually. I'm just going to cut this and then come back in. Okay, quick rework <laughs> mid-video. Uh, yeah, so basically what I've done is I've just pulled his speed down. I've taken a couple of the speed sets off him. They were good pieces of gear, so it's not massively improved my set. But all I've done is just reduced the speed a bit. I've actually pushed myself up to 100% crit rate now and good crit damage, good HP. So Black Knight is looking good. One, two, three. Did I show you Altan? Yeah, showed you Altan, showed you Crisk. And I think I showed you everyone. That's a cult brawler. So we've got Masteries across the board. Warmaster here. Uh, we do have to fiddle around with this, so I don't want this turn meter acceleration on. I need to turn it off, so we need to rework anyone who's got that on. So we're going to come down into the same position we were just now, Warmaster, same build for most people that have got single target or, or single hit or double hit A1. Um, if you had a free hit A1, you'd end up in Giant Slayer over here. See now, I'm avoiding these two. These two are not good for us if we want to... Um, basically, if, if we want to do speed tuning, I take Master Hexer here for a chance to extend the debuffs he lays, and Sniper for a better chance to lay the debuffs. So there on, we've got over here abilities to kick out some more damage. Um, I'm going to do this one. Do I need this one? Probably not. It's the best one though. I'm going to do that one in case I need it in the fight, which gets his A2 back quicker. So he's good to go. Let me just check everyone's masteries again. Just set those up, that's good. Okay, he's not in the right masteries. Bye bye gems. Um, so he, again, needs to come down into War Master. I think with him, so we don't need any accuracy, so we need nothing over here. I mean, he does gain benefit from having HP. But just to take this, there's not really much else that we're going to benefit from here. So I'm going to go defense and make him tankier for the fight. To the same build. Don't need any of those. Uh, might as well take this one in case I need it for any other content. It's quite useful elsewhere. Okay, so good. He's set up. He's set up. He's set up. He set up and we're done. Yeah, cool. So I think we're good to go. Let's go and have a fight in Nightmare and see what we can do. So basically, uh, in terms of where we were before, this team has not fought Nightmare at all before. He's been sort of getting the max chest on Brutal over the last uh, few weeks. So it's going to be new territory. He's hoping to have a team that can at least free key Nightmare. So to do that, we're going to be looking for, um, I guess what we're going to be doing there, so 39. So we need about 13 million to be able to free key Nightmare. I think with this team, we're going to sail past that. I, I honestly do. The only challenge I've got here is do we have enough poison? That's the only thing I'm unsure about. So Old Town's going to go in there. The other challenge I guess I've got is I don't have a cleanser. 
So Steel Skull could be a good argument to come in instead of a Cult Brawler to do that poison, but um, there's only so many spots you can fill. I just want to click him. There we go. Uh, one, two, three, four. Who's the last guy? Black Knight. So yeah, so there's an argument to say you could take Black Knight out of this and put Steel Skull in instead. I think I'm going to run a second run with him in the team and see what difference we do in damage. But let's roll it. Let's see how we do. Take the auto off. So just sort of set up. So poison's coming in here. Um, I could go straight with ally protection. It's probably a bit early. Don't really need it. So I'm just going to... Let me just see what this does. Increase... Yeah, so this, this ability here, I guess if you're running on manual, you still want it. So you want the increased defense, but you don't necessarily want the increased speed when you're speed tuned like this. But I can do increased defense here with, with this champ, with my uh, Tyrell, and I've also got an increased defense with my Black Knight, which I'll save. So you don't necessarily need Chris's increased defense if you're going to manual. But if you do it on auto, he's going to use that. He's going to use it regularly. So it's kind of just playing around with how you want to run it. Certainly towards the end of the fight, you'll be using it all the time. Um, you see here, the poisons are stacking up quite quickly. So I can do ally protection without needing to prop that increased defense. So it's interesting. So actually, and it's a hit as well, which is nice. So here we get ally protection up. This team is actually, I think, going to be quality. I think it's going to be very good. And the nice thing is... Um, Skull Crusher loses his ally protection at that stage and Chris takes it over, which means that Skull Crusher is going to be able to live through a long part of this, this encounter here. So we're good. I'm going to run this through then. I'm probably just going to fl uh, flick it on auto and then see how we're getting on. Okay, first trial of this team. We've kicked in 23.26 million. So that is two key territory straight away. Um, and it's big as well. It's really big. I think I think Black Knight could be subbed out for Steel Skull and perhaps get better results. So I'm going to try and do that. We did we did face issues with the cleanse. Cleanse was throwing people out. My Skull Crusher counter attacks were being thrown out. Uh, we just got lots of buffs going on here. So I'm going to try subbing him out and see how we get on with that. So just to show you my Steel Skull build, I've got him in Life Steel set. It doesn't necessarily need to be in Life Steel set. It's just that. We've still got some good pieces left over. 3k defense, which is decent. 30k HP. 190 speed is actually a little bit high. A bit high, and he's got good accuracy. I just need to take a tiny bit of speed off of him. Uh, this one can do. I don't want speed set because it's going to give me that speed boost, which I don't need. So I'm just going to try and take a bit of speed out and keep my other stats strong that looks good okay so we're now at 181 which is cool he's now the fastest which means he gets his cleanse off so let's go into that same fight again we're going to get a two key anyway i'm sure but we're going to try and do it in style so out comes black knight in comes steel skull uh, black knight is still in good shape for sub it in for people if we get affinity changes that sort of thing um i think there's also some more that we could be doing with black knight i just it was my first time really using him properly um it's definitely not a bad champion so i'm just going to do the setup again we're going to have a lot more poisons ticking now and everyone is going to be properly speed tuned we should get the cleanse coming up from the steel skull on time as we need it um i hope he doesn't he, it might be that he uses it on these poisons sometimes but uh, anyway, I'm going to run this through and, yeah, just let you know how we get on. Okay, here we go. Key 2 with Steel Skull in the mix, 25.1 million. It still wasn't perfect. Uh, that was with full auto, so Chris, if you manualed it, you'd probably do about another 5 million. This team is rocking the um, Nightmare Clan boss, so really happy with that. We kind of pushed from a team that had no idea. Now we've got a team that is rocking Nightmare Clan boss. Uh, so that's cool. Let's get ourselves into the arena. Let's see what we use for arena right now. Um, so for a defense, we've got um, what we got here. So we've got a couple of, yeah, I mean, it just feels like a bit of a random. I guess it's a defensive defense team. So if that makes sense. 
uh, all, all people that can take a hit. And he uses the same team in offense. So obviously I've redeared two of them for clan boss. Um, let's just roll one through and see what happens with this team if it's on auto. And then we can re-sort this out. So obviously we go second. Krisk is, is good in arena. Even in the build I've got him in, he's good in arena. Um, so I guess we're we're relying on Koch, oh, that's big damage. We're relying on something like Ignatius being able to put out the damage for this team to work. Because otherwise I don't really know where the damage comes from. Um I guess yeah, my Chris can do some good damage. Okay, I think I've seen enough. Um, yeah, so for me, Skull Crusher is not the best arena champion, but he's not terrible. Um, Ignatius is good. Vanassal is decent as well. Um, okay, I'm going to get on to, to checking out who I'm going to use, and then we'll get into this. Um, yeah. Okay, so we have got a arena team built up with the gear we had left. So what I'm going to have is my Prince Kaimar as a speed lead. Um, so he's got an aura that gives us plus 30% to base speed in the arena he's also got this reset ability on his a3 which lets you do your same kind of group of abilities again he is coming in at 178 speed i want him to be my slowest so that he can just do the reset after they all go i've got big and in big old chunky sets so he is coming in at 243 speed 80 percent crit rate big old crit damage decent accuracy so I'm hoping that he's just going to be quickest with the speed lead buff that Kaimai gives us and goes off and just starts stunning people. Ray then bowls in at 191 speed and goes next with crits. And then we follow up with that with a Ignatius 172 speed, lots of defense. Um, so I don't know if Ignatius is, is actually right for this team. I might even just run Chris in his current gear to go into that team anyway as a bit of a kind of support champion. Um, but I think with that setup, we should just be able to kind of go in and blow people up. That's the idea. So let's give it a try. Um, so Kaima goes in the lead. Gives us that 30%. Let's go with this Ray Biggin. Uh, let's see what happens. So I'm going to throw it on auto like I did the previous one. So straight away, Ray goes in with a good old nuke. Uh, oh, did I not put... I didn't put my big one in. So I'm missing one of the champs I wanted to use. Um, hopefully we're going to be okay anyway. I think we are because we've got some decent damage going on here. So Duchess is down. Duchess was the problem, if you remember, when we did this fight just a minute ago. And that is looking much better. Much better. Okay, good. So let's now put in the team I actually wanted. Uh, this chap here is going to be a problem actually for this this type of team, I think. Uh, we'll see how this goes. He might end up being an issue for us. Because he's definitely going to go first. If he starts locking people down and he, if he's well built, then probably going to give us some troubles. So okay, so he's locked two people out that I don't really care about. In comes the stuns. In comes the nukes. This is what we wanted. Lots of damage, big and smashing people up. Ray just kind of following up with some average kind of crits. They're not even getting a turn. And that's how you build a speed team in the arena. We probably don't even need Chris Guinea. I could just go with damage. Um, I've kind of got him in as a supporting cast in case we start taking hits. So maybe we take him out and go with uh, the original I was going to do, which was Ignatius. Um, you could easily as well kind of come in with like a Zargala, throwing in some hits, Whisper, but a lot of these aren't ascended and stuff, so I'm just trying to use people that we've got now and trying to trying to be a bit more frugal with gear sets because I am running out of silver. But look at that damage early on, really good. Yeah, this is feeling decent. So it feels like we have got an arena team that can now deal with gold four easily. We have got a clan boss team which is smashing um Nightmare Clan Boss. The same team could definitely step up and get onto Ultra Nightmare as well. So, yeah, I think that is job done. Hell Hades, account takeover. Done and dusted. 
See you later, guys.